everybody, so I just wanted to come on and make you guys a video. Um, first of all, let me get into prayer. So Heavenly Father, I just come before you, God, and I just lift up everybody that watches my channel, and I just thank you for my channel. I thank you for my children. I thank you for everything that you're doing in my life, everything that you've done in my life. Thank you for rescuing me. Thank you for being such a good God to me. Thank you for being the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God who is a real, the only real and true God in my life and in, in this world. You know, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord in Jesus' name. And I plead the blood of Jesus over myself, my family, my my viewers, the people that watch my videos, all my supporters. God, I just thank you for this day. And may you speak through me and use my vocal cords, use my, the breath in my lungs, God. And just have your way in this video, Lord, in Jesus' name. So, I'm just on my way to go do some stuff, but, um, yeah, uh, I don't even know how to put this, um, but I gotta go through it, there's no if, ands, and buts about it, you know, like, uh, I have to, I have to do this because it's what God wants, and, um, you know, sometimes, and a lot of times, it's not even sometimes, this ain't gonna be the only hard thing that I'm gonna have to face in my life. There's going to be many trials ahead. There's going to be many days ahead where I'm just going to have to, you know, take hit after hit after hit and it's just going to keep coming. But somehow, some way, like, I find the strength to keep going and I know it's all through the Holy Spirit because it's none of me. Like, it is clearly none of me, you know. Because um, the the me, me, I would have... I wouldn't be able to to handle none of this um that i'm going through you know it it really like if i would let it it would drive me crazy because and i'm talking about like mentally insane i'm talking about like like you know and and you know people already joke around and like they say like lost it you know like oh she lost her mind like lost it or whatever and <clears throat> they don't even understand like the extent of, of like what I have to go through. So I forgive them, you know, but I'm not, I'm not trying to come on here and just complain. And I, cause I'm not gonna do that. Cause you know, yeah, God does have everything good in store and like whatever, but it's just like, I don't know. I'm back into the crushing again. I have to crush everything in my life and just submit and surrender unto the Lord because this is his life. This is his body. This is his life. This is everything that has to do with him. It's not, it's not about you and what you want. And I know that sounds harsh and I know that sounds like crazy, but it's really not, you know. Um, it's important in this time like so i watched a video yesterday and like there's there's so much importance on receiving getting water baptized there's so much importance on you know living for christ you know fasting praying you know and um <clears throat> there's so much like about that because of the fact that there's 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 things that are coming that are gonna be like, and I'm this ain't a horror or a, a fear mongering message. It's more so like God cares about you. He cares about your children. He cares about your family. He cares about every everything that has to do with you. He's such a loving and caring God. He, but he's he's not like oh just do what you want and you're fine because like you know you know how some parents they favor some of their kids and they they'll like let this one get away with stuff and just like let them be however say whatever do whatever and then and then like so to them like you're telling your other kids whether it's a sibling group whatever like you're basically like telling your other kids like he can get away with it but you can't you know what i mean like it's a different type of love but God has a God has a different type of love because to me that's not really love because if you really love your kid your children 
you will correct them. You'll be, you'll say, hey, like, you know, don't do that. Or you would discipline them in a way that, you know, is, you know, and, and you would, you know, and Tiffany Montgomery, she put it this way. She said, like, um, when your child, if your child is, if you're like by a busy street and there's cars just like up and down all around, whatever, and your child is running out towards the road and there's a car coming, are you going to be like, oh, hey, honey, get over here, you know? No, you're going to snatch them up and be like, what, I get the, you know, like, you're going to, like, get on them because of what they're doing, of the way that they're going is wrong, you know? You're saving them from death and all kinds of uh, crazy stuff, you know? But, and I, but, but I mean me, like, and I've always been this way, but I pray that, you know, eventually God can get this, get this out of me because, but I feel like, after I do this hard thing that I, that is right before me, right whenever I walk through this thing and I emerge from from doing this and obeying God, you know, uh, I will <clears throat> I will see better days ahead. I will see it, you know. But it's not even this. This ain't even this ain't even probably the hardest thing that I gotta go through. I don't even know what the hardest thing I gotta go through. But I know that this for me was very hard. Maybe it's like a submission. I don't know. I, I really don't know, you know, because I always thought, I always thought, but but God knows us deep down. He knows like the deep parts that of, of how you are. He created you. He knows. And, but me, I always used to tell myself that like I was a submissive woman. Like I always wanted to be a wife and have a husband and, you know, all this and that. And I, I, and I still do, that desire is definitely there, but, like, I, I wanted who I wanted to be my husband, you know what I mean? Like, I wanted what I wanted, but whenever God comes in and rearranges everything and whatever, whatever does, whatever, you just have to let him, you know? And, and that's really where I'm at right now, is I'm, I'm getting ready to go submit and, you know, live this life or whatever but i'm not trying to put so much emphasis on it because i don't idolize marriage and i will not idolize my husband you know what i mean i'm not gonna i'm not i, I don't go down that road no more in my mind in my thoughts no no i don't do that my my thoughts i feel like well okay so i'm gonna be transparent so like lately my thoughts they and and god is definitely or, or the devil he will He's been, like, trying to send counterfeits, like, you know, people from my past, whatever, whatever, you know. And and it just, like, it's to tempt me. And, you know, and a big part of me, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie to you guys because a big part of me was, like, you know what? I'm tired of being alone. And it's not even that. It's not even, like, it's not even like that because you have to look at relationships as, like, you have to see it as the bigger picture. You're going to be around this person 24-7 you have to really get to know somebody you have to know them who, for who they are you have to like you know what i mean but i mean in my situation this is like a god ordained thing like i didn't choose this i didn't really want this it's like god ordained thing like so i'm being reminded in the middle east and which i love like you know like i love their culture because but i don't agree with like the religious part of it but i believe like that like that is something for me that i really I really liked you know what I mean like I wouldn't make it feel like a religious thing though like I love like the traditional you know wedding ceremony the traditional marriage you know what I mean like um you know and then how some of those those men over there like they live with their parents and so you would be basically be adopted into their family you know what I mean you would live with him and his parents you know that type of stuff what are you doing don't do that and you know that all that stuff like was very intriguing to me you know i was like oh my gosh like you know and and even if it went bad you can always you know like you can always you know figure it out but in this situation okay so over here like you know god was like this is him, this is him this is who it is you know and but for me i ran away you know i ran away i ran away from the whole situation packed up my van dipped out you know whatever but God, and then he, God, like, he went easy on me. Like, he was like, okay, I'm going to leave her alone for a little bit, whatever. But, 
ever since I've been back here, he's been imprinting it in my spirit, like speaking into my spirit, like go back to where you were, go back there, go back there. And I was just like, no, 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 no. Cause I already knew what he was trying to do. I already knew like he was gonna make me go back to the person that he picked for me, you know? And and I was fighting myself, fighting myself, and I just kept pushing it out, pushing it, thwarting it, thwarting. I don't know if you know what that word thwart means, but it's like you thwart, like thwart it, like you dismiss it, kind of like. I kept thwarting those feelings, thwarting, like you know, and you know, and but but I mean, like the situation that I'm in now, <laughs> God is so good because you know, like I can't stay here, and God, God already revealed that to me. I after I got out, got away from here, and I left. You know everything was good you know like I, I didn't feel the way I felt while I felt here you know there was still some stuff going on where I moved to and you know around that area but still it wasn't like how it is here and it says like in the Bible it says a prophet isn't welcomed in their hometown a prophet isn't like you know honored in their hometown there you go Lord and and that makes perfect sense you know what I mean because like it, it's like on 10 with the BS here you know what I'm saying? Like, anyway, I'm not even going to go there because I don't even care. I All I know is, like, looking forward, I'm just going to do what the Lord wants me to do. And I'm going to submit. And I'm going to just, I'm just going to, whatever he would have, that's that's what it is. You know what I mean? And the quicker you learn this, the quicker the better. Because in the Bible, the Bible is not a liar. The Bible is all true. It, it's going to come to pass. So, my, I would encourage you guys... <laughs> my encouragement to you guys all to everybody that ever watches this video get water baptized get a, a home local church go to it even if people reject you or make you feel ugly for being there or they just look and sneer at you and like you look you be looking crazy there whatever keep going go to church go to church get the word get the message because god will speak to you through that message god will speak to you through that message and even if it's a rebuke receive that rebuke from the lord and get it right get it together get it right get it together you know what i mean and get water baptized get saved get born again and get into the field of trying to save other souls just like god had grace on you i mean you're gonna have to have he'll give you that grace period to clean yourself up and to renounce all your sins and to confess them deep dark secrets and things that you don't really want to talk about he already knows just confess it get it out the way clean up and get into the field and run your race you know what i mean it's a marathon not a not a what does it say it's a marathon not a uh some kind of thing it's like a long you know long suffering run that you have to do in this life you know i think it was paul that said that or something peter whatever so get water baptized clean up your mess get into the field get off drugs ask god to deliver you from whatever you're kind of dealing with you're it's not going to be a one and done deal okay like for me whenever i first went into it i always thought like deliverance you know was gonna come like the way they show those videos of people being delivered i always thought mine was gonna be like that and i wish it was because like that's amazing like those people they they clearly get delivered from demons you know and it's a real thing people don't like you know and and um but for me like i still struggle with sin i still struggle with overeating overindulging in food drinks pop whatever you know i just overindulge but i'm working on it you know and i you know uh, but that's that's me i'm working on it i'm doing whatever i can to like you know get it under control whatever i mean and you know anyway long story short get saved because every knee will bow every tongue will confess that's what you need to know my message is every tongue every knee will bow every tongue will confess that jesus christ is lord so whether you do it today or you know or in the near future just do it you know what i mean because this is what's going to get you somewhere it's going to get you somewhere if you feel like your life is just stagnated you're like just at a plateau you don't have nothing to live for maybe you got your kids taken through the court system they're lost to the foster system whatever it may be maybe that's for somebody but you know what i'm saying god will help you and he's he's like he's imprinting people to help you know you, you know what i mean <clears throat> He's imprinting on people's hearts to help other people, you know, but, you know, it's a good day today and that's, I, you know, um, 
every it, it, okay so what does that mean to you okay so every knee will bow to jesus so right now so right now i believe like the christian believers you know like whoever the church whoever whenever you go into prayer you um you go like somewhere i don't know where you go i used to have like a carpet like it was a, it was my brother's girlfriend's she had a red fuzzy carpet it was like plush it was kind of had like you know that memory foam but it was furry it was red and it was furry it was so cute and cool and i used to i i had that in the room in the basement and i would go down there like i'd be like okay i'm gonna go pray and i would go down there and then i would go like bow you know like bow to the lord and say my prayers you know i'd get on my knees and i would cross my hands and i would just you know pray to the lord and you know it was and it was amazing because but you have to designate that area whether it be your car whether it be your prayer closet whether it's a physical closet uh you know somewhere just somewhere that you could pray to god and it's just you and him don't take your phone don't play that background music just sit still and sit quiet and try to see if you could set an alarm for like the mid or like either midnight if you go to bed early like if you go to bed early and you, maybe you would want to wake up at midnight or like around 2 30 or 3 p.m or 4 or maybe god is already like prompting you to get up maybe he's already waking you up by himself like maybe you have to wake up and you have to go use the restroom at a certain like 5 a.m you're every night you're waking up at that same time to go use the restroom you know something like that you already know like what it is and god you're not waking up just to go use the bathroom like god that is way of god's way of like waking you up and getting you you know getting you moving in a sense <clears throat> i got this rosary at this church and it is so amazing i don't even know like if rosaries are like you know whatever but i i'm not using it to say the rosary i'm just like want it because it's of jesus you know and so don't think anyway so yeah so designate a prayer spot for you to go pray and you can even take your kids to go pray with you take your babies to go pray with you say should we go pray to jesus and go just get on your knees and pray to him you know and make it a beautiful thing you know anything that you have to confess openly confess it it's it you know and um you know the lord is good and you know sometimes we go through things and we just have all these hardships to where it's like you know it's like we don't really want to believe or whatever whatever you ha whatever it may be but my thing to you guys is i pray that you guys would believe i pray that you guys would begin to love jesus and i pray that you guys would get it together for your families and you know for whoever god calls you to take care of and to help you know But I guess, wait, no, hold on. I'm gonna pull right here. So, yeah, that would be my prayer for you guys. And, you know, God is just amazing. And, you know, yeah, like lately I've just been kind of like, like everybody I meet like I'm just like is it him is it him God like is he my husband is this one you know and it's not right to do that first of all like I'm just yearning to like not be a not be alone you know and but I don't know ultimately God knows that he's on the throne of my heart you know like when you look into your heart like what's in there you know is it Jesus or is it all these things that you're storing up that people did to you are you holding on to all these offenses like you know what is it anyway so i'm gonna go i got i got stuff to do and then i'm gonna make a video like later on because i'm gonna try to be consistent with my content and try to build up my videos and see if i could get a message from the lord for you guys and i love you guys and i just pray you guys have a wonderful day love you guys bye